Hello and welcome to Class Fit Sugar. I'm Nikki Nee, and we're taking you through a 10 minute standing core bar workout. So let's get to it. Come on, five, six, seven, eight, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's take the weight into the left leg, bringing the right arm out to the side. And we're just gonna draw the knee across the body, taking it in and out to the chest. So we've got 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, nine moves to get us through this 10 minute workout. So we're gonna already start pumping it up. Maybe you find your balance and don't even tap the floor to intensify this move. Poofy's gonna give you a little modification, going a bit slower, not taking the knee as high. And Nikki K over here is gonna turn up the heat. We got 15 more seconds. Ha! Really getting across the body. Remember, we're focused as our core today. Find your own rhythm and beat. We got four, three, two, one. Good, deep breath in, shoulder roll back. Ah, give it a little shake. We're gonna go the other side. So finding your balance now on the right leg, uh, taking the arm and leg overhead. So really find that diagonal line. Feel the length pulling from both sides. We're gonna go in three, two, one, taking it in and out. So we gotta get right to this. We only got 10 minutes together, my friend. So make sure that we are turning the volume up as we get this workout going. So you don't wanna wait till the end. It's gonna be over before you know it. So keep driving that knee in. Maybe pick up the pace just a little bit more for this last 20 seconds. Reaching all the way up overhead. Feel the length through your body, length through your waist. Can you bend that supporting leg just a little bit deeper? Oh yes. And maybe even put a smile on your face. Here we go, last five. Three, two, one, shake it out. All right, this next move, we're gonna take it all the way to the side for a little oblique knee lift. So the arm's gonna come like a big circle and the leg is gonna lift. We're gonna stay parallel with the leg so not turning out to the hip. The leg doesn't need to be super high. Let's try one side first in three, two, one. Taking it up and over, soft bend of the knee to rebound out of it and then ah! Find that moment where you're like, stick it. Ha. Yes, performance. Yes. <laughs> where my competition dancers at. Remember that moment? Yes, this is bringing me back. But oh, it's bringing me back because those abductors, the glute, the oblique, it's all feeling it. Really use that supporting leg that's lifted to press you out and into the movement. Last 10 seconds, can you get that leg all the way up? Eee. Really feel that work happening in the sideways. Stand tall. Three, two, one more. Woo. Shake it out. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. I feel the burn. That's a good one. Oh, Side is activated. We activated. Do a little body roll to get it out. <laughs> We're gonna go to the other side. So setting up, just feel this circular motion as the arms sweep all the way over and the leg lifts up. Here we go. We are dancing now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right into it, I'm already feeling like a little warm, <laughs> energized, <sighs> mood boosted. Yes, that moment, we really wanna focus in on that crunch of the abs, key. So get that leg to your height where you feel it. That doesn't mean it needs to be as high as ours. You might feel it just Barely off the floor. You might need to go higher than us. You got five more seconds. Lift your glutey to feel like a cutie, huh? Oh, yeah. she said. Love that. Relax that out, shaking it out. This next move, we're gonna start in first position. You're gonna slide your left leg back. Taking the left arm overhead. Bring the arms out to the side. We're gonna take a grand bat bat by reaching across to reach for your toe. Here we go, taking it up. And if the leg doesn't go as high, that's okay. Keep reaching maybe for the inside of your knee. And if it goes higher, make sure that we're not dropping through the chest. Keep that nice port de bras of the arms staying elevated, the upper back works. So it's not so much about the height of your leg. Really try to feel that the leg is brushing and the energy's coming out from underneath the backside of the leg. And then feel that lift through the psoas rather than the quad. <laughs> Takes quite a lot of balance as well to maintain it. Oh yeah. Last 10 seconds. You get a little break after this. Give me one more. And then one more. Hi-ya! You guys shake it out. Amazing. 
Let's just dance that out before we go to the other side. Whew. Feeling those legs. All right, dancers, set it up. First position. All right. Slide the opposite leg back. Sing, lower arm overhead, and then take it across the body as we grand bot ma to the other side. And then like you are on stage and you are performing this for your living room, for your pets, for your children, <laughs> whoever it is, <laughs> your plants. <laughs> it always helps to have an audience, doesn't it? You know, even if you're making it up in your head. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Watch those arms. That's a huge part of it. I can feel my deltoids really activated here because of holding those arms up and then really finding that reach up and over. Stay with it, keep breathing. You got about three more bot mods. All right, shake it out, whoo. The next move, we're gonna take it to second position for a lateral oblique. So grand plie, we wanna turn out from the tops of the hips, bend the knees deeply and allow the knees to drop over the toes so we're working the backs of the legs. We're gonna bring the arms overhead in a high fifth position. Right here, let's go 45 seconds, taking it all the way up and over, back to center to the other side. See if you can keep the waist nice and long and keep the hips low. So you're gonna get a little extra bonus here working the outer thighs as well as the abs. Using your breath and getting the upper back as well as you keep the chest lifted, the shoulders drop down so the neck is long. All right, let's take up the tempo just a little bit without compromising any of our gorgeous technique. You don't have to be a dancer to do this workout, but you can have that inner dancer come out for these last 10 seconds. Yes. Bring them out, bring them out. Okay. For three, two. One, good, nice job. Go ahead and give it a little shake out. We're gonna get to this next move. We're gonna start from first position. So heels touch, turn out the toes. Again, we're externally rotated in the hips. demi plie the knees, so soft bend. We're gonna bring the arms out to a second position and we're gonna just draw the pelvis under. So it's a little tuck of the pelvis, working through the rectus abdominis, the low abs. And then squeeze the booty as we pop it. Pop hey. it. <laughs> make it fun, make it enjoyable. We got 10 minutes. Feel that burn through the legs? I do. I'm feeling Woo! it. She on fire. the shoulders. Keep that going, draw it, tack. Squeeze at the top, just hold it for a moment before you release it. Ha. We're almost there, last 15 seconds. Breathe, sit the hips just a little bit deeper. Option here to lift the heels off the floor, finding your balance, let the legs really shake it out as you keep that pelvic tuck for three, for two, a four one. Woo, shake it out. It's doing amazing. We just got one more move. So we're now gonna take the legs parallel, a little bit wider than your shoulders, soft bend of the knees. We're gonna press out, so reaching across the body, energy from the core shooting out to the heels of the hands. In three, two, let's go. Taking it side to side. Try to keep the lower body nice and stabilized so you're not bouncing around too much. Yes, doesn't it feel good? You're almost there. You got a workout in today. I love this move, it feels like you're pushing away though. It doesn't serve you. Oh, oh I love that. Right. Keeping the elbows up. We're gonna isolate this to one arm in three, in two. Just take one arm over, reach across the body. Take that hand to a fist and feel that power through the bicep as you reach the obliques for five, six, seven, eight. Let's go to the other side, reach and pull. Draw it in. Finish it out right here. For four, three, two, one. Give yourself a high five. Woo. Let's take the grand plie, inhale to cool it down. Exhale, bend the knees again. Drink it in, let it go. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees. Last one, taking it up. Go ahead and pivot the heels behind your feet. Fold forward over the legs. Hands can come under the shoulders. A little bend and stretch of the knees just to Decompress your lower back. Maybe shake the head heavy, yes and no. You did that. Let's go ahead and just take a gentle lateral lunge, bending over the right leg and to the left leg. And just take this in your own pace till you feel that stretch through the inner thighs, the back of the legs. Find your way through center. Go ahead and maybe grab the back of the ankles, pull your chest even closer to your legs and bend the knees round up through your spine. Amazing, let's finish with a little reverence. 
So it's just a little bow to each other, taking the arm over your head and just curtsying on over. You did that, crushed it. Amazing job, everybody. Maybe if you need another little workout, feel free to check out my other videos here on Class Fit Sugar. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And if you wanna move with me even more, head on over to Wavelength Movement, my on-demand platform. Check out NikkiNee.com for more. See you soon right here at Class Fit Sugar. Woo! Woo! Hey! <laughs>